Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm Kryptomina. Thank you very much for joining me today. I hope you are doing well. I hope you have watched my previous video on Tiger Testnet. This was regarding Galaxy Quest. Now, there are a few other things that you can do on the testnet and increase your visibility. Like number of transaction, deploying some smart contract or doing some NFT minting. Since this is a testnet, so this is going to be totally free. So let's get started. If you remember from my previous video, you have to go to the testnet and collect your faucet Halski token, which you are going to bridge over to uh, Tyco testnet. Once you have the testnet token bridged over to the Tyco testnet, you can go ahead and do a few swaps. Once you have the testnet token, you can do a few things. First thing we are going to do is to mint NFT. For this, you have to go to this contract. You will go to the contract tab and here you will go to write contract and then connect your wallet, which is by clicking connect to Web3. Then come to the mint, payable amount zero and number of token you want to mint. I'm going to put 12 and then click on write. Approve the transaction. Now I will go on this to view on the block explorer. Now I'll locate your transaction and then you will find your token ID. So you have to copy the first token ID, the smallest one, if you have multiple minted multiple NFTs. If you haven't minted one, then obviously it will be the one token ID. And then you will go to the bridge again. You are min uh, moving from Polsky to Katla. Here you have to put the contract address, token ID, and then continue. Found my transaction. Basically found my NFT and I'm going to move it from Polsky to the Tyco Katlan testnet. Now we can bridge it. Bridging part is now complete. So we have moved the NFT from testnet to Tyco testnet. Now we can do some swaps. So for this, just connect your wallet. There are only few tokens that you can swap between. I'm going to swap some for horse token. Then I'm gonna swap between Ethereum and TTKOK token. I'm also going to swap some ETH for USDC. After doing all those swaps, you can come to the pools and add liquidity. One more thing you can do is to bridge your horse token from Katla to Holski. So far, what we've been doing is we are bridging everything from Holski to Katla, but now we can also do that in reverse. So from Katla to Holski. There are a few assets that you can bridge. You can bridge Ethereum, horse, and TTKOK tokens. I'm going to bridge horse. All right, after doing one uh, transaction, you can do the same for the other assets just to increase the number of the transaction on the chain. And then you can repeat all these tasks, maybe multiple times a month. For example, you can do that weekly or you can do twice or thrice a month, depending on your schedule. So yeah, that's all for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please don't forget to give it the thumbs up. You can also join my Telegram announcement channel where I drop all the airdrop news. I will see you with the next video. Till then, take care and happy investing.